Robinson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, may I also express uh, my appreciation to the Secretary of State and his Minister of State uh, for the help and support that they have given to me uh, in the fulfilment of my responsibilities uh, over the last 48 hours. And can I associate uh, with my remarks uh, my colleague, the Member of Parliament for the constituency of South Antrim, the, uh, who, as the Secretary of State will know, is regrettably unable to be in his place as uh, he was admitted to hospital today, uh, but was uh, in the constituency uh, at the uh, base on Saturday evening. Uh, again uh, on Sunday, he accompanied me to the site, uh, and he was with the Secretary of State and the Prime Minister there this morning on his way to the hospital. Uh, can I join with the Secretary of State in expressing condolences to the families of the two brave young men who were slain uh, at Masserine Base on Saturday evening. It is a very sorrowful and devastating time for those families, and our hearts and prayers go out to them. And we express our sympathy to the families of uh, the two other soldiers who are injured and the two members of our local community who are also injured. Does the Secretary of State uh, welcome, as I do, the remarks that have been made by all Unionist leaders and indeed by representatives of uh, the UPRG and PUP who would be associated with uh, the Loyalist paramilitary organisations, that this is a matter that should be left entirely to the PSNI, yeah. that people should give their support to the police service, that due process is the way forward, and all information that is available should be given to the police in order to apprehend those who are responsible. And does he agree with me that there is no such thing as a mindless terrorist attack? that every terrorist attack has a purpose. And the purpose of this attack was to drive our community apart, to cause division, to bring us back and drag us back to the bad old bloody days of the past. And that those terrorists can never achieve that unless the people of Northern Ireland were to allow them to. And that there is a spirit in Northern Ireland, not characterized by the evil that we saw on Saturday, but of the good that we saw on Sunday and since, where people in Northern Ireland together are saying loudly and clearly, we are not going back. Yeah, 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 yeah.